In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom. Saint Barnabas. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today in the church's liturgy, we honor St. Barnabas the Apostle, and though he was not one of the twelve, he is considered an apostle by the church. Barnabas uh, was a Jew born of the tribe of Levi, and he had been born in Cyprus, and he had his name changed by the apostles uh, from Joseph to that of Barnabas, which means son of exhortation or consolation. He was also noted for his generosity in the uh, early Christian communities at Jerusalem. Barnabas was befriended, uh, uh, bef befriended uh, St. Paul and uh, set him on the path uh, to become the great, uh, set him on the path, uh, uh, assisted him and set him on the path uh, of following Christ. And it was Barnabas who introduced Paul to the other apostles. When St. Barnabas went to Antioch to consolidate the infant church there, he asked Paul to share his labors. After laboring a year at Antioch, the two apostles brought the offerings of the community to the famine-stricken poor uh, of the Judean community. Together with St. Paul, Barnabas preached the faith in Cyprus and Central Asia and uh, attended the First Council of Jerusalem. So Barnabas went with Paul on St. Paul on his first a missionary journey. And during that missionary journey, St. Mark was also with them, but St. Mark, it seems, lost heart and he, uh, he, uh, he did not continue on that journey uh, and returned home. Uh, uh, but on his uh, second journey that St. Paul went on, went on uh, St. Barnabas did not accompany St. Paul because Paul did not want Mark to accompany them. It seems that uh, St. Paul had uh, had some uh, had had uh, made some had made a judgment that Mark, perhaps because he left the journey the last time, would not be uh, persevering on the second journey. So he did not want Mark with them. But St. Barnabas uh, decided to go with his cousin Mark. They were actually cousins, and uh, and. Uh, and it seems that St. Barnabas was able to strengthen Mark and to uh, uh, give him renewed courage and faith in following Christ. So much so that uh, St. Mark eventually would accompany St. Peter to Rome and also St. Uh, Paul would write about St. Mark praising him in his virtue. Saint, the lesson I think we can learn from St. Barnabas is not to give up on others. And uh, St. Barnabas did not give up on his cousin Mark even though St. Paul uh, was discouraged by him and did not want him to accompany them on their second missionary journey. Uh, St. Barnabas did not give up on his cousin Mark, but uh, was renewed him, uh, assisted him in being renewed in the faith by his prayers, by his encouragement, and by his example. And so we must too mu must not lose heart uh, when we see perhaps uh, uh, others not being, uh, uh, others not uh, pursuing the faith or pursuing their their uh, uh, their vocation with with the zeal that that they formerly had, but like Saint Barnabas, Barnabas, we must encourage them, pray for them, and uh, and and not give up on them. May Saint Saint Barnabas eventually, of course, died a martyr in Cyprus, where he was stoned to death. We can ask Saint Barnabas again to give us his great missionary zeal today in proclaiming the gospel by our words and our actions and to all, do so always with that charity in which he did, that charity which filled his heart uh, with the love of Christ. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit.